straight shout tonight on the channel. Simple as that. We win. We are top of the Europa Conference League table. We lose. We finish second. So much hangs in the balance that you won't want to go anywhere. You will not want to miss out on this. And not to miss out on things like this is easy. Just subscribe to the channel and turn your bell notification on. It's that simple. But also, also, and this is the main event of this evening. We play the bottom place team in the league. Because why not? So sit back, relax and have some fun. Hello folks and welcome back. So here we are in the club info screen. There's not a major here, apart from I'm still hired, which is always a good thing. So let's just look over the recent schedule. There are a couple of shockers, which you'll see. Uh, we've dropped points. Where did we last meet? We last met here with Astana. Dropped points against Istra, but then we've done well. Then we got absolutely thrashed. And I mean thrashed by Dynamo. So that was not good. Went through the whole month of November and we got thrashed by Zoria. But we did win four games, so meh, balancing act. And then we started off December with a 1 0 win in the cup against Kibalia. Now, I love that name. So, tonight, today, whenever you watch it, we've got a game against Dragovic and Neshe. Two clubs whose names I will never ever be able to pronounce, but hey. Right, we're here, isn't it? For a bit of fun. Now, you might be thinking, well, has anything major happened? Not really, we've just kept going strong. So, at the moment, we set six points behind Dynamo, but obviously game in hand. Here, we've qualified with ten points, and that's what I say, it's a straight shout. We draw, we win, we qualify top. Happy days. Anything else, then, you know. Got the same final of the cup, which is brilliant, and yeah, we do, we do have a chance of silverware in the cup. I think. Do we have a chance of silverware in the conference league? Who knows? Do we have a chance of the league in the first season? That's a difficult one. I would like to say yes, but I don't think we do. That's me being honest. So now we're going to go and take on Dragovic. So let's go and pick the team for tonight. So just bear with me while I do that. Teams picked and there's something different. We've went to a controlled possession. Why? It's simple. There's still too many older players in this team. And with having older players, I do genuinely feel that a gigging press doesn't, not a gigging press, a tic tac doesn't work. Because you're pushing and you're pushing, whereas you're controlling, you're holding, you're moving. Not slower, but... More intelligent, shall we say. So, on that basis, tonight we've got Klanic and goals. He's been on, missing for a couple games due to injury. Mjelnik, Ferro, Elez, Mikanovic, Garic, Fosati, Kronovic, Livaja, the Hungarian guy. Let's try this. One, two, three. Lovren, shish, 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 shish. And then Klanic is up top. So, as well as, Sahiti's here, 23 Yankees now. Zubic, he's been getting a bit of exposure. He's, he looks really good for the future, by the way. Buick, again, he's been getting exposure. So, I'm trying to get the youngsters in. He's no young. Uh, hopefully I can get rid of him. But I've been given more money by the board, because, obviously, bringing more money in Europe, they've turned around. Ah, oh, there's money. Balance the books, which is amazing. And now I'm going hunting in January, so, yeah, January could be interesting, that'll be, what day are we on today, Tuesday, Thursday, that'll be next Monday's episode, you'll see the post-January stuff, so that'll be interesting, but for now, let's go pay, take on Drago Voljak, and there's actually a reason why I've chose the Drago Vol Drago Volvac game, and that's because we drew against some early in the season. So this is me showing how much we are starting to come forward as a team and how we can rely on everything together. 
So, yeah, I mean, I'll pop the league table up here. Where are we? There we go. See, they're sitting down on bottom and 10th. Potential banana skin. You know what it's like when you play bottom of the league. So, let's see. Now, it's with a Hungarian lad. Provanovic. That's a free kick. It's not a penalty. I mean, look at her. The goalie's at... Where are you? There he is. Over there. I'll get my mouse on him. There he is. The goalie. It's like, oh, wait, hell, wait. No. See, no penalty. It's free kick. Or do we get a free kick highlight? We do. Mjolnik. Whips and... Jesus, it's so hard went through brickwork. But it remains no no. I'm going to encourage the boys. But I do feel changing from the tick attacker to the control has worked. We're holding out games now more than anything, which is the main thing. Well, Sati. Oh, wonderful shot. But yeah, we do control more of the games, I would say, and how we are as well. It's just, we play nicer. Now, that's a penalty. That was a push on Lavaja. Also, Joy to here. I've got rid of the curtains, really. It's now just slick back. Look like one of those really bad marketing executives from the early 90s. Lavaja with the penalty. And it's a goal. Yeah, I just knew that before it was hit. He's only hit 11 goals this season. However, he's not up top all the time. But he's still freaking good. He has Marco Lavaggio, the ex-Wonder Kid. Speaking of which, my Wonder Kids are doing alright on loan. A couple of them I'll keep an eye on, but hey. Talk more about that in the second half. See folk there. And it's a kickoff highlight. So, yeah, I'm still keeping an eye on the youngsters. Now, there's a few of them that should be introduced in the next season. And, do you know what? I'll show you them after this game. A couple of them are a bit, not hesitant, but, yeah. You'll, you'll see. There's a goalkeeper here, for example, that's 18, and I'm like, is he worth it? No, not worth it. Is he worth the risk? And I think he might be. Because our current goalkeeper is on loan from Aston Villa. There's no guarantee we'll keep him on loan. Second choice goalkeeper is 37 years old. There's no denying that he might say at the end of the season, I'm hanging up if I'm only number two. Bragging hell. Um, but yeah. So there might be another goalkeeper coming through. I've got, I'm scouting a few as well on Croatia. I'm going to keep your options open. I'm actually going to go demand more. That's no good. That's only their second shot, and yeah, we should be dominating this game against this lot. So, look in substitution clock time, I think. And it's just been suggested, but Buick is coming on for you. You are just terrible, mate. I don't know how you've got the job. And since you're having a good game, let's give a youngster a chance. Let's just see if my pre game bragging was worth it with him. The ball's away. Can someone chase that? Thank you. Get on it. Get on it. Brilliant Mjolnik. And that's how you say his name. Mjolnik. If I've got any creation viewers, let me know. Get it. Whoa. That was a bit wild, mate. Um, I'm going to bring on Ed. Barrow off and Katic on. I didn't want to swap any of my wings, but... Vukovic can come on for you. Done and dusted, and I'm going to encourage. Let's go! Again, we are dominating possession, though. You can see that. Up here, 73% possession, 93% passing. Those two will always go hand in hand. Oh, come on, boys. Do not draw this. Bottom of the league. There we go. Well, I say there we go. Hopefully, here we go. Buick whips it in. It's away. Vukovic for Sati. Buick, Mikanovic, Buick, Levant, oh, come on, why does foot manager do this to frustrate you, okay, I'm only five points off the league, top, that's just so frustrating that result, look at how we've dominated, 19 and 6, 2.59 XG, I don't believe XG, 6 corners, we didn't give away a foul, not one foul. Oh well. On to the next game. 
Now, I said I was going to show you a selection of youngsters, and this is what we're going to do. So, first up, we've got David Fisuik, who's Ukrainian, who's unhappy because I didn't sign him. The last manager said, yeah, we'll sign our Ukrainian. Those notes weren't handed to me. I didn't can, so, yeah, great potential. Simon Hergovic, again, another great potential player. Currently playing in the league below us, so that's good. Pukstas, a young American 17 year old, looks really good. Um, you see what I mean? There's loads of really, really good players. This guy we brought in on a trial, by the way. I've just put a bit in for him because I just realised how good he is. My face, Magnuson, you know. But they're not the ones I'm concentrating too much on. He is. I like him. Kusic, I think he's a really good player. But I'm going to show you the player, so just hold on a second. This is the goalkeeper. His name is Tony Silic. Currently player in the third tier, I want to say. But at that age, those numbers are looking good. He's only 17. Now, he's out injured, but not, it's not a real injury. Do you know what I mean? It's a broken toe. It's not like his leg's hanging off. But then there's so many more. Again, the boys I've already showed you. Marco Br Brojaka. He looks phenomenal. Um. Yeri Versic, again, after so much good young talent here, this was the right team for me. So, yeah, this guy here, Mario Vysokovic, he's at Hamburg. Now, why he's loaned out to Hamburg beyond me, I think he's an amazing player. Look, he's just green all the way. Yeah, he's got a couple yellows and one green, eh, it was grey, sorry, but the rest of it, it's all greens. Solid. Now, he can sign for Hamburg, I've just clicked on room 1, if they are promoted. Now, where is he? I just lost him. There you go. So, I've not put him on loan. I want him. But, if Hamburg... Wait a minute. He's on loan till 2023. <laughs> so that lasts for longer. Basically, if they get promoted, I think they can buy him for 3.1. Can I not just recall him? No. Cool. Right. After that, Brutal disappointment there. Yeah? Let's go play some Europa League games. Right, so if this was like a uh, John Wayne movie, this would be like the Western where they're walking out and about drawn. Shoot, because it's a straight shooting game. Now, Angles, Kalanich, then we've got Melnyk, Katic, Ferro, Mikanovic, Gerch, Provenich, Fossati, Lavage is on the left, the big Hungarian guys on the right, Kalanich up top on the bench, it's the usual bench. Um, Burex there, we Dominic at left back, 18 years old. Was not the worst, not the greatest, he's just good to have. I think I might offer him a new contract, and Sahite. So, without any further ado, it's a one off game in my eyes, okay? Let's go win this. Let's get into the second qualifying round. And earn some more of that. Dala, 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 dala. Right, so we're only a few minutes in, no highlights as of yet, and I've got the league table up here, so we can keep an eye on it, just let me click, there we go, so it's up there. But yeah, this is quite interesting, we should be, oh come on, this is going to be our goal, isn't it? No, 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 Fasati's on it, run, Forest, run, Fasati Forest, wait hey, anyway, keep going, keep going, right, hold, that's it. What was that? Was that like a big massive jumping volley, because that was... Really interesting. But yeah. Tables are up there. Roma are losing to... I can't even see that team's name. Anne or Fosse. Guess the postcards I'm going to see separate. Well, Sati. I mean, you can't send me postcards until I get a PO box, which I probably never will, because I don't like saying, guys, here's an Amazon list. That's not for me, but... Yeah. When I do, send me postcards. Okay. 32 year old Hungarians come good when I needed them. That was a good goal, 1 0. Against. Now, I said this before I spoke to you guys. I think, like a madman, I speak out loud just so I can make sure I'm saying things right. But it's Nefshi. Nehi? Nefshi. I think Nefshi. So, yeah, 1 0 against Nefshi. Which is good. Puts us clear out. Oh, come on. Fosati on the free kick. Number 6. Yep. 
Oh, he whips at him. What a goal. Bellissimo. Bellissimo. What a goal for Sati. What an absolute goal. Whipped it in. Thinks of the post. 2 0. Is the game set match? Maybe. Right. See you folks for the second half. Now, hopefully, we don't go out here and bottle it. We are currently on the ball. It's went out to the Hungarian Lovrenskish. Oh, 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 for Sati. Woo! Damn, son. We're that comfy. I was not expecting that. I'm going to praise him because we're 2 0 up. You know. I'm thinking as well, it's maybe time for some youth players to come on. I've been talking about youth players, so why not? Uh, I don't have a youth player for a right back. <laughs> oh god, I'm like, yeah, youth players. None for right back. Okay, so Kalanic. Uh, Marin can come on there. And. Ivan? Yeah, let's give Ivan a chance. We're 2 0 up. You know, let's get these boys bloodied and used. So I'm going to drop the praise again, just to keep the momentum going. Kalina. Oh, lovely. Gurch. Oh, Sati. Gurch. Kalina. Look at that. Pass, move, pass, move. And get the ball stolen away. But here comes Kalanich. Katic. Dominic. He's on the ball. What can he do? Nice simple pass. He's got it again, and another simple pass. If that's what he does, I'm happy with that. Oh, I did think it was offside. I need to make sure there, but you know what? Good, it's good. Masati, Levaja takes it wide. Ferron, so close. I think I've one or two subs, don't I? Let's check. Two remaining. Hmm. Buick can come on for him. And I don't really have... I'll bring on Sati for Jorge. That's his name. Hungarian Jorge. I mean, that's probably nowhere near how it says his name in Hungarian. Hungarian? Yeah, that's their language. Anyway, balls away. I just went back the way to Memedov. How do you say his name? He's got some weird reversion E's. Oh, Katic with a block. Now, he is someone I will want to try and keep at the end of the season from Rangers. Now, can I bring him in full time? Who knows? Will it be another loan? No idea. But Sahiti's on the ball. Nope, Ferro is. Gert. Lubinek. Buick. Lavaja. Lubinek. There we go. 3 0. Youngster scoring. He might be the one that replaces uh, Klanic up top next year. Who knows? Although more than likely it will be uh, Antonio, no, I think Antonio Marin. Where am I getting that name from? Uh, Marco Lavaggio. But Lavaggio's getting, not to be an old man, but mature, shall we say. But that is a complete dominant performance. That makes up for the first episode, uh, first um, game of this episode. We won 3 now. Happy days. I'll see you guys on our side and we might have the conference draw. I'll go and see when it is. So the draw's not till February, which is interesting, but I want to bring you back here, I want to show you how much money we've just made from that game, okay? So, because we got to win, 427. Then we've got 555 for finishing first, so there's 982,000. And then another 170 grand, so we've made over a million alone, which, looking at that, not that, that one, boom, 4.9. Income this month, over a million. Now, we are getting a few upgrades done at the club. Wink, wink. Which is, and I will show you, club info, facilities. We've now got excellent academy coaching, excellent youth recruitment, and I believe our training facilities are being upgraded as well. Wink. Someone's been upgraded. I can't remember what off the top of my head. But schedule-wise, now, you can see we've got our winter break. So, we're going to smash these two games out offline. Smash out January. And... I might just come back for March. Yeah. Stubbenick in the second leg. So, 
yeah, it's a few months off camera. I do apologise, but the way the Europa Conference League is, that's how it works out, unfortunately. So, you're likely to get either Sibinic or Lokomova. Lokomotiva. Um, next time. I think it'll be Lokomotiva. So, yeah, we'll probably come back in March. I'm not going to lie. Because nothing happens in January. Our transfer deadline isn't until the 15th of February. And then, really, it's just league games. And as much as I want to show you league games, I'm not blooding the youth ship because there's so many of them are out on loan before I even came here. So, let's concentrate on Europe for now and then see what happens. But, folks, if you've stayed this long, which is probably about a 20 minute video now, so I do apologise. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good jazz. You know what I'm like. I love this sort of stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you in March, basically. Enjoy the winter break, folks, and see you in a couple of days.